So hello and welcome back to a new episode of Time For You, where you get to chill, relax, and take a moment to um, nurture your loving presence and your own well-being. So welcome. My name is Shelia Stevens, uh, near Frankfurt on Main, Germany, and this is my lovely colleague, Leia Bandli. Hi. And Leia is in Zurich, Switzerland, if you don't know. So we're about, how far are we apart? About four hours. Yeah. yeah in I the car so. driving. Mm -hmm. But so, very close by our heart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very <laughs> close. It's very close. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. <laughs> Just in case I forgot. Yeah. So guys, I wanted to talk today a little bit about loaded topics. Mm -hmm. And I've been waiting for a while to have the opportunity or a platform to, to explore it because I have come across loaded topics and myself as a coach in the last 15 years, quite a bit. I didn't really call it that. I think I had a like different wording for it. Um, Leah, I know you have probably your own terminology for it. So I wanted to, I wanted to talk about it from a personal perspective, but maybe also a little bit from the coach's perspective. Let's mm -hmm. see. Let's just yeah. see what happens. It's an exploration, if you will. So I, I might say it also in a couple of different ways, just so it people can hear it differently. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I was having um, a conversation a couple of weeks ago with coach Grace Kelly, not the actress, Grace Kelly, not the, what was she? She wasn't a queen. She was a she was married Fürsten. to the Fürsten, uh, who got the Duchess, right? Or mm -hmm. I don't know what it's called in English. Anyway, but Coach Grace Kelly. And um, we were doing a one-on-one -on -one coaching. And I really enjoy as a coach having my own coach and the time to explore some like different stuff. And Grace was sharing with me about she had some different things that, she, that were on her mind some certain commitments and some relationships and some other questions you know how as a human being you have just some things you're wondering about and she was kind of having a little bit of meditation and grace likes to talk with her spiritual team and say hey can you show me some direction she give me some answers on these you know few questions that i have and one of the questions she had was about what to eat and um, health or something along that matter. And then she said to me, well, then I quickly let go of that question because I know that that's a loaded topic for me. So what that means is that Grace, as long as I've known her, she has sort of habitual thinking around her weight um, how she looks, what she should eat to maintain her weight and to look a certain way. And it's something that is loaded because it's just habitual. And she knows that um, asking questions around that area most of the time has nothing to do with wisdom or where she's actually mm -hmm. looking from an inner space. Does that make sense, Leah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I could really resonate with that because over the years, especially when I was doing business and marketing, I would have people come in and this is the irony of the situation. So I did a lot of positioning, helping people to get really clear on who they're serving as a coach or a consultant or, um, you know, a, a service provider and what their expertise was, like how they were going to talk about their work clearly so other people could understand the results of working together and so forth. And people would come in to the, um, the strategy calls or the clarity conversations that they all have different names. It's like that time where you meet with clients for complimentary call that they can get to know you and you can find out what's on their mind. And, um, a lot of times people would book me to get their positioning clear, to get their strategy clear, their communication clear. And I would find out either in the clarity call or just within the first or second call after that it was exactly an area that would be a loaded topic. So in my experience, Leah, and I'm really interested to see how you see it, I would 
then know, oh, these loaded topics usually don't get anyone anywhere, right? It's like I, when I was in the three years looking for my positioning, the first uh, three years after my business, I paid so much money. I can't even tell you how much mentoring, coaching, consulting that I booked to get my positioning clear. And no matter how great the person was, no matter how expert they were in helping people find their positioning, I never got an answer on it. Because very oftentimes, these loaded topics are not real. They're, they're either things that are not really ripe, they're not ready to look at, they're not ready to go. They're, you're just getting a hit on them because something's coming in the future and you're trying mm -hmm. to figure it out now. Or it's just some habitual thinking you've got going mm -hmm. on, like about the thing you need and no amount of engaging on the level at which that problem was created mm -hmm. is going to solve that problem. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of like, I wanted to just chat about it and see what you see about that, Leah. I almost tend these days to totally turn my attention away from a loaded topic completely. Mm -hmm. And the hard thing about that is it's the thing that often looks the most compelling to look at mm -hmm. right now in your life, mm -hmm. right? So how do you see that? What are you hearing in all of that? Mm. That sounds really strange. And I know it doesn't look like that at the beginning at all. And I'm really, really, really grateful that I have a group right now with people who are not in my community for a long time that I met, but they felt something and they really wanted to change or see more. And with them, I started to see like the loaded topics again, like um, how they react on certain things. Because in my world, it, that's what I meant by it seems a little strange. Nowadays, they're almost love letters, but for real. Like when I want to think about ethical, ethical, whatever. Ethical then I, topics, like topics, political topics or whatever. Yes, what's mm -hmm. right, what's wrong. Then I just know, oh, <laughs> here we go, here we go again. And I I know where I I am and not, not at all that there is something to see in it for me. <clears throat> so probably it sometimes mixed up the the topic and the habitual thinking like the habitual thinking has a certain quality to it somehow we start to know how it feels like oh it's kind of this ongoing habitual thinking and me too, I really, most of the time, do not want to go there. And it's very interesting now that you brought it up. I, in the most of the time, just right now, I have something with someone going on. But most of the time, even with my clients, It's not, it's, I'm even happy when they see what their problem is. And the problem, I, I, what I mean is what they are thinking about the most of the time. So what their loaded topics are. What their loaded topics are, because then I see how they see the world and where the misunderstanding is. And 
maybe a door, a, a, a way in. And often in the very loaded topics or problems, there is also wisdom. Um, and I just know I'm able to explore it and, and to listen deeply, to get them, to know them, to feel into their world without having been able to solve it because I know that the talking about life and the principles and how we work will solve whatever needs to be solved or not. Exactly. No, that's very well put. Yeah. 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 And sometimes it looks real. Of course it does. And to have this compassion for ourselves and the other ones. And I said it, I think, last time to honor the human experience and this brain who does funny things and wants to help and it's caught up in whatever and being okay with that too but i'm we already talked about it i think also on this podcast i i'm so fed up with <laughs> the dark repetitive ongoing loaded topic thinking of my brain and the habitual thoughts around it I often most of the time couldn't care less mm -hmm. there is just nothing to see for me mm -hmm. and that's the very cool thing and I can have an insight into something even a loaded topic for sure for sure and just try create do uh, experiment but in life not in my head and see how it goes and how life and is up for it how I'm up for it and then on the go figure things out so that's Nowadays, for me, the, the funnier, the, the, the cooler, the easier, yeah. the, the, the lighter way to be in life. Yeah, so totally, totally. We were, we were, Sandra and I were working on this mastermind idea last week, just playing around, just kicking around some mm. cans on it. And one of the things that came up for me was also this idea of Sometimes that's really the best way to either get rid of, an, of a loaded topic or get insight on a loaded topic is to get back in your life, right? And this was in the business context, like, you know, the thing you're circling around, whether it be the perfect wording for your website or um, who knows what your brain is, you know, circling around about is just to get present, get back in your real life, mm -hmm. live, Right drink yes. Kool-Aid, walk in the woods, um, be with your friends, mm -hmm. um, you know, just find your way back to life itself. Yeah. And, and sometimes it's astonishing then to see how we can then suddenly see more clearly what's real and what's not real. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like today's episode is like, I want to make it a public service announcement, you know, like, <laughs> like I would have been grateful back then, just as an example in those three years looking for my positioning and the years before it was something else I was, you know, completely focused on. If someone had even just told me, you know, there are these loaded topics and there's probably not a lot for you to see in there, maybe mm. nothing at all. Um that would have been just even that would have been so mm -hmm. helpful for me just to hear, hey, we think 
And the things our brain grabs onto is a bit random. And consciousness makes everything look compellingly real. And Mm -hmm. it's so easy to get lost in that, you know? Um, It's so simple, um, but so important in a human life to know that. Yeah, totally. And for me, that's also the the whole topic you you were pointing at at the beginning. Like, I have a question and I'm waiting for an answer. I that I didn't mean it like that. It's like, yeah, sometimes we have questions, but most of the time, the questions do not need any answers yeah so I don't do anything (laughs) with the questions and I've got a lot more time for life as you said and Mm -hmm. creation and exploring and trying out and and real time experimenting with the things because then you see does it work or not yeah. Oh, it didn't. So, okay. What next? Mm-hmm. What needs to be different? Um, without being attached to the outcome, we always feel secure and insecure. Even when we get it right, we will yeah. feel secure and insecure. So, Therefore, we just can walk and feel secure and insecure and not sit down and think about feeling secure or insecure. Or the need falls away to figuring it out before so that you do not feel insecure because that will never happen. Yeah. And that's kind of, it sounds like a bad thing thing but it's actually it is actually a cool one because you don't have to worry about that anymore really really good Leah really Mm -hmm. good yeah absolutely absolutely yeah Yeah. that's that's it right I want to I want to just reiterate that before we end it which is you know I think that's that's it right we think if we answer that loaded question or that loaded topic we solve it we figure it out we're going to feel secure or better or happier or richer or skinnier who would whatever the thing and actually no that's not that's not where security comes from and and yes we we're always gonna feel secure and insecure in a wave like a sinus curve right Mm -hmm. so true so true yeah so you can let go of that you don't have to worry be fearful like because i think that's what the brain does sometimes too it says if I don't figure this out, then I'm not going to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so it's scared to let go of it. Mm-hmm. Really mm-hmm. scared to let go of mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Afraid, afraid of what might happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So cool. Thank you, Leah, for that conversation. <laughs> that was so Thank fun. You. So yeah, guys, I'm going to close this off today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lynn, I, I think it's much better when Leah does it, but I'm going to do this. Um, thanks for listening in today. We hope you heard something for yourself that moves something within you and um if you enjoyed the podcast follow us on spotify apple podcast or google um also our website you can go there and follow us there too uh, wherever you found the link to come today share this with anybody who you think um would just have fun listening in while they're doing the laundry or having a cup of tea or where you think hey yeah they could really Uh, benefit as well from the understanding of the three principles which is the direction we're also always pointing in some way or another so thank you sydney banks thank you leah (laughs) (laughs) thank you guys thank you shelia bye bye guys see you next time